Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best available scripts for the game A Dusty Trip. So let's get right into it. Now, let me go ahead and show you how you can download the script. All you want to do is head down into the description below and choose the script that you want. Once you have chosen that, go ahead and click the link and it will take you to this page right here. From here, go ahead and complete the steps and it will take you to the second page over here. And again, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download page just like that. From here, go ahead and click on download now and that will start the download process for you. From here, go ahead and click on continue and choose wherever you want to download the download manager. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop and go ahead and click on save. And then go ahead and open up the download manager just like that. Once you have opened it from here, go ahead and click on next and it will give you a couple of offers. It's completely up to you if you want to accept these. Otherwise, you can click on decline, click decline again. And once you have done these steps, you can go ahead and click on continue and it will take you to the final page. From here, go ahead and click on open and that will give you the final download link. From here, you can go ahead and copy that, paste it into your browser, click enter. And that will give you the download so i have already downloaded it so i will go ahead and download it again and that should download the script for you just like that so again you can go to your desktop and you will see the downloaded script over here now once you have downloaded your scripts you are ready to go so go ahead and jump into a dusty script and the executor i'll be using in this video will be krampus if you don't already have krampus you can buy it from the link down in the description below all right here we go we have loaded into the game and i have gone ahead and injected now we can go ahead and execute the script if you are planning on using the first script i do recommend executing this first otherwise for some reason it doesn't like to execute once you have executed it one thing that i do want to point out is that you can't actually move the script for some reason it's just a little buggy so what you want to do is actually come over to this game pass right here click e so it opens up this menu and then you will be able to drag this around just like that now the first thing you want to do with this script is you will be able to get the key so go ahead and click on get key and then go back to your browser and paste the link that it has copied for you all right once the page does load go ahead and choose the time duration that you are looking for for me i'm just going to go ahead and click on six hours and i do recommend choosing the bottom link it's just faster and at this point go ahead and quickly do the steps that it's asking you so let's go ahead and do that and then go ahead and click on continue all right once you're on this page go ahead and click on this option right here and go ahead and do the steps again and then go ahead and click continue now over here it will ask you to wait around five seconds so let's go ahead and do that once it has done that go ahead and click on go and that should give you your key from there you can go ahead and click on copy come back to the game paste the script in and click login and that will start loading up the script for you so that's all you have to do for that script again you can go ahead and click on cancel for that game pass and that will start loading the script just like that so once it has loaded the script, you can go ahead and search for a dusty script in here and then go ahead and click on load and that should load the script. Now I will go ahead and show you all of the features of the script before we move on to the other scripts. So let me go ahead and close out of Krampus for now. Now you've got two different options in this menu. So firstly, you've got the no stamina. You can turn this on. No hunger does not seem to work, but it might have been updated when I did try it last time. It did not work. But as you can see with the no stamina, I can just go ahead and run around. And there are no issues with the stamina so you pretty much got infinite stamina you will not slow down the no stamina is really convenient when you're fighting the mutants for example or the bandits you can just pretty much sprint around infinitely without having to slow down and again you do have car fly in this but i don't recommend using the car fly of this script because the other script is a lot better when it comes to car fly and i will show you that in just a moment now when you come down over to the items it has a bunch of different items that you can select and once you have selected them you can pretty much click bring selected food to me and that will start teleporting all of the foods that you've selected on the menu to yourself. And again, you can do the same thing with car parts. So you've got a lot of different car parts that you can choose from. And again, you will be able to teleport these to you anywhere you go. So let me go ahead and for example, select all of these car parts and click bring selected car parts to me. And as you can see, it will start bringing every single car part to you. Now you do also have the misc section which has a bunch of different options as well so you've got a lot of different things that you can bring to yourself including gas and oil and water which is really important and of course if you are using the va engine you will also be able to teleport the diesel to yourself and a bunch of different items so let's go ahead and try that and as you can see it starts teleporting a bunch of different things to yourself without any issues so you'll never run out of gas and that's pretty much it for the first script let's go ahead and move on to the second script all right there we go so we just executed the second script now a lot of you might be familiar with infinite yield it is a common admin script Now, the main reason i like using infinite yield with this game is because of the fly feature so you can just simply turn on fly and you'll be able to fly and again you can change the speed of this to as much as you'd like and you'll be able to fly as much as you want the only downside about this is of course when the storm comes in 
you do start taking damage but as long as you have some shelter that you can walk into or you have your car nearby that you can jump back into that should not be a problem at all now you can also fly with this little thing over here um the hoverboard I, I, I don't know where it's gone but i do prefer doing this because it's a lot faster and again you can adjust the speed of this as much as you'd like now i will also go ahead and throw in a clip of me using the fly feature efficiently so you can see how it can work in the game It's too good to restart. Yes, there's so much diesel. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the water. You got everything? Nope. And of course, to disable fly, you can simply go ahead and type in unfly, and that will bring you back down just like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the third script all right and here we go so the third script is this menu right here and i do think this is one of my favorite scripts when it comes to this game simply because of the amount of options it has and it pretty much does not have any bugs whatsoever so i'll go ahead and also show you all of these so firstly you do have the trolling option right here so if you bring out this gun you will be able to move the vehicle around just like this you can do this if you're looking to troll some people in a lobby i do not recommend doing that of course but if you do want to do it for any reason then you will be able to do that and you can also go ahead and click on fling and that will fling players around and of course you also have the auto drag car so if i do click this the car will start dragging away but i do need a car for something so i will not be doing that actually let me go ahead and actually show you because i do still have the van so if you do click this as you can see it just starts dragging the van towards the road um oh sorry not the van the car and that probably will not be stopping anytime soon now so we've just lost that i do still have the van that i can experiment on so that isn't an issue so let's go ahead and move on to the next option which is teleport now, if i was to click on go to car that will teleport me to the car so if i do click that as you can see it just teleports me straight to the car and that's really convenient so for example if you are using the fly feature on this and it starts to you know get really stormy you can simply go ahead and click on unfly and go to car quickly and that will save you from any storm damage so there are features that you can combine with scripts to make this really op as you can see and again you can also do the same thing with the van so you can just click this and it will teleport you to the van if you click this it will actually throw you into a random server um, and not just any server it will actually put you in a game that has actually already started so right now we're loaded into an actual game and if you click this it will put you into an actual game so normally of course you're unable to do this once people have loaded into a game you can't just join their game but if you do click that it will throw you into a random server so that is really cool if you do click this it will take you to fuel so it will teleport you to fuel and if you were to click this again it will teleport you to some more fuel but i don't think that's really important and i don't think that's really efficient because when it does teleport you you can't really bring the fuel back to your car because it's going to be really far and of course you can't carry the fuel while teleporting um it just doesn't work so i do recommend using this script if you want to bring fuel to yourself or any other items but if you do want to teleport to your car or, or your van then this script is better when it comes to that so again using all of these scripts together is a lot better than using just one at a time now one thing i want to point out is you can actually carry the fuel if you were to fly um, at one speed so type fly one you can actually carry items and still fly with them as you can see but if i was to turn up the speed any higher to for example two actually it does still work with two okay never mind so as you can see unless you go slow and you stop every couple of seconds it will drop the item but if you were to fly with the one speed then there won't be any issues and you'll be able to carry the item without any issues as you can see and let me actually turn off fly again now let's go ahead and continue with the script right here you've got the paid teleport so if you do have the game pass you can teleport to the flame truck or the atv and here are the credits for the script all credits go to the creator of course so let's go ahead and continue to the main option now if you were sitting in the car or the van and you turn on auto road it will start teleporting you down the road at a really high speed and again i don't recommend using this it's slightly buggy there is another feature that i recommend over this one and i will show you that in just a second now up next if you were to click all meter badges it will give you every single badge in the game that comes to the distance so for example there's a badge that you get around 5000 meters 10000 meters and then 15000 meters i think so if you were to click this it will give you all of them i have already claimed all of these so it will not work for me this script also comes with no stamina but if you are using it on this script then there is no point using it over here up next you've got car fly all right so one mistake that i want to point out is you don't want to be using the fly on this script over here you actually want to be using the fly on this script it's a lot better so i did get mixed up with the scripts 
but it is the first grip that has the best fly feature so let's go ahead and jump into the car and i'll show you how that works so all you want to do is simply go ahead and click on fly and that will automatically turn the vehicle around and you can adjust the speed over here and then at this point you just want to go ahead and hold forward which is w and that will start moving the van for you and as you can see it's going really fast at 12 speed if i was to turn this even higher it will go even further now i don't want to go beyond 250 meters because that will activate the storm and it just starts getting dark and i just don't like that so let's go ahead and go back to the beginning um but yeah that's pretty much how you use the fly feature if you were to press space that will fly you up and if you were to press shift that will bring you down and if you want to turn it off you simply want to just click escape so it allows you to move your mouse and then you simply turn off fly again and you will be able to hop out of your car after doing that up next you've got liquid so you can actually fuel up your car 100 liters of gas for example 100 liters of gas and diesel and same thing with the van and if you were to turn these options on so water and radiator oil and gas engine and oil and diesel engine um, all you want to do is just simply have this on and click this option right here as long as the hatch is open it will actually put all of the things in there automatically so let me go ahead and fly back to the van and let me show you how this works it doesn't always work it's not guaranteed but it does work 90 percent of the time now that i've said that let's hope it does work so let me go ahead and click 100 liters of gas and as you can see it has fueled up to over 100 liters in gas so this will never pretty much run out that should take you a good 10,000 meters before you even need gas. And of course, you can bring more using this menu over here. So just toggle this on and click bring selected car parts and that will bring that to you. So pretty much you'll never be running out of oil, gas or water. Now up next, you've got the vehicles menu. So you can place the gas engine or the diesel engine in the car or the van without having to do anything. So if I was to click on place diesel engine and van, and if I was to turn around and check the van, as you can see, it does add the diesel engine in the van. Now you've got the paired vehicles option up next so if you do have the flame truck you do have the same options for this and then of course the paid liquids the same thing for the flame truck and that's pretty much it for the scripts guys hopefully you did like them if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching